And my quick tip is from, uh, I, you know, I'm a Fubo TV user. And one of the things I often use uh, the Fubo app for is watching live sports on a slight delay. We'll call it, you know, we've been watching the Bruins lately and I like to, you know, let it get 10 minutes into the game or so. So that I, you know, at least the first period break, I can sort of skip over a little bit, uh, you know, because hockey games have those 18 minute period breaks. And it's, you know, that's a long time. So, you know, we'll, we'll be doing whatever we're doing around the house, finishing up dinner. The, the football will start recording the game. And uh, and then, you know, 10, 15 minutes in, I'll go to join the game. When I turn on the Fubo app, like many of the streaming uh, service apps, it wants to show me live TV. I don't know why this is. I, you know, it knows I record things. It can see that I never watch live TV. And yet it insists upon shoving it in my face. And what live TV does it shove in my face? The Bruins game that I was planning on going back to the beginning of and watching. And so I had gotten into this routine where I would turn on the TV and then I would start saying, you know, la, la, la. And I would put my hand like in front of my face so so as to block the score and hope that I could hit the pause or exit whatever button in time before I learned the progress of the game and then might as well just watch it live if I already know. And so I sent a note to Fubo about this and they had a great hack. I also ple- requested that they put a feature in that I could just turn off. Don't show me the live TV. It's totally fine. Just bring me to my recordings tab. I'm, I'm good. You know, give me a place to start here. But, um, but their tip was... Put different channels in your favorites list. And this works with the other streaming services that shove live TV in your face, too. And so they were like, put the weather channel in, put, you know, something in that that is not what Animal Planet, I think, was one of the ones they recommended. I found like the Smithsonian Channel and a couple of others that, that show interesting things, the History Channel. So that when I turn on my TV, there's something, you know, the History Channel is definitely not going to be telling me about the current status of the Bruins game. They're going to be telling me about things that happened long before we had television most of the time. And so, uh, yeah, I, it was just a great little hack. And it has improved my quality of life far more than something like that should. But I love being able to turn on my TV and not feel myself all stressed about trying to, you know, avoid the inevitable. So it's good.